Hi. What if you can't find the component you are searching for in any Altium libraries or even using manufacturer part search? Then you have to use another way. One of the ways is using Ultra Librarian. So here I'm searching for TPS 92641. It's a Texas Instrument uh, switch mode power controller driver. Now, um, this driver is not available in manufacturer part search as long as symbol and footprint are concerned. So I have to find it somewhere else. And of course, I was searching in the official Texas Instrument website. And down, when I go down, I get to the CAD CIA symbols. And here I find the right package with 16 pins as I'm searching for, and I'm clicking the view options. Now here I'm redirected, redirected to Ultra Library on software where actually this company provides um, the uh, component uh, libraries for many suppliers. So here I can find this exact chip I was searching for. Now I see the symbol, I can click on the pins the pads on my pattern or footprint are also highlighted and I also have a 3D model. So I will click here and I will download. And of course, I have to download for my software. This is Altium Designer software. And I, was, I also need a 3D model. Okay, I will now click here that I'm not a robot. I will comply with all the terms and I will submit. Now the file will be downloaded. So I got a zip file containing everything and I extract it in, in a folder. So here you see the content of the folder. The step file is a 3D model and there are some Altium project uh, scripts which I will run later and this is the text file which contains all the information of the component. So I will go to Altium, I will select file run script and I will select the script here, click browse from file, I will select the script which I have just downloaded and I will run it. It will ask me for a file, so I will select file and the text file I just downloaded. I will open it and start import. Here I have a warning that this version of Altium has some problems with the fonts, so I will just ignore it. Okay, it already finished, okay, and what I get is a new lib library package to containing schematics and footprint. So let's go to the schematics first. What I see here is one component, TPS, and there is another blank component I will just delete. Okay, so this component is left and it contains the schematics of my um, integrated circuit. Here is the footprint and there might be also some preview here available if I, we had the PCB uh, or footprint as well, but there is something wrong because I don't see a preview. So let's go into the PCB lib. Here in the PCB library, I don't see anything, which is strange. I select it, I zoom in, zoom out, and can't see anything. Okay, something is wrong. I will go here and I will edit the component here. So I will select um, footprint properties. Nothing special here, everything seems okay. I will just click okay and voila, we got the footprint, cool. So this must be uh, some sort of a bug of the import, but at the end we get what we came for. If I click three, I will get to the 3D view and oh, I already see the footprint, which is even stranger because I didn't import it. But it looks like that since I uh, contained uh, or I copied the 3D model already in this ultra library and file, I get the step model already included. Of course, if I deleted it, I can import it again. So I would just like to show you how to import a 3D model. So I will go into the place 3D model, 3D body, and I will select this step file and I will import it. So now you see it's not oriented correctly. So I will just place it, place it and I will now rotate it. And I have to rotate it around the Z axis because Z axis is the one which runs perpendicular from the screen towards myself. So I will orient it around Z axis for 90 degrees and the footprint is placed correctly, the 3D body. All right, so now I got what I came for. I will say everything and I will go now to the project, to the schematics library. I will now click on the preview, it should work. 
okay it works now i will go to 2d see clicking on the pad it should work so i have to check everything it's if everything is in order and i suppose it is okay anyway finally i will compile the library and now since i compiled it it will be a part of the libraries under components here and i will go to the my project and i can choose the component and i can place it in so components here okay there is another thing which i could do i can go to the schematics library again and what i can do i can add some um, manufacturer properties okay yeah so i can go here to component and add supplier links because this is quite important to do since um, here you can get links to um, suppliers so you can get the codes of the supplier the order codes and also um, you can get links to data sheets so TPS 92641 and um, I can get here that there are no different there are no stocks left so it doesn't matter which one I choose let's say I choose that one okay so now I got the supplier links here I can I have a link to data sheet I have prices if there were some and that's it more or less I can say everything and compile again so now this can be updated okay so adding another one just for fun would then give also supplier links which would be a part of it so references data sheet is here models are here everything works supplier links and so on so using ultra library is quite useful of course sometimes you, you don't ho have so prepared website like the texas instrument has some website will just give you a file and this file will be will have to be exported to the um, software package you're working on manually by using ultra library and software so i can run ultra library and software now and you'll get the point so this software now will be used to import the file which is provided and then you would export it to altium designer here export to selected tools and then you will be able to import it in altium so this is another um, step which texas instrument already did for you so at the end uh, you should be careful even though the these models seem to be verified it's still not 100 percent sure that everything is fine so please make sure because if there is a problem in your symbol or in footprint you will have a problem which you will find out maybe uh, when you will uh, manufacture already these products or uh, at least in the testing um, period and then it will be quite late so please check out your design check out your symbol and footprint and connection between those two that everything is okay to use it